Hey, I'm Kylie of Kylie M Interiors, blogger, paint color expert, and e-design consultant. Today we're taking a look at Sherwin-Williams Modern Gray. Now, if you want to know the real details on Modern Gray, I do have a more in-depth review on my YouTube channel and on my blog, because today we're not talking about Modern Gray itself, we're talking about the paint colors that look awesome with it. So this is for trims, cabinets, adjoining rooms and kitchen islands, cabinets, front doors, that kind of thing. So you may want to have a pen and paper ready because we're going to go through a lot of colors. You will want to make notes. I also do have reviews for all of these colors, either on my website at Kylie M Interiors or on my YouTube channel. So let's start with white. I want to start with alabaster to show you what I wouldn't do. So if you have warm trim already and it's creamy, even creamier than alabaster, modern gray is not going to look so hot. What I would rather see you in is a white, like high reflective white, which is a brighter, cleaner look, so much better. Or something soft, kind of in between the two, like pure white. Of the two, I'd probably lean towards high reflective white. I just like the cleaner approach of it. You can see that shift there, but pure white totally works. Now, let's look at colors that would go on walls. Now, this isn't necessarily for a feature wall. Some of these wouldn't work at all. This is more if you're doing, say, a bedroom bathroom combo or you want to paint your kitchen modern gray and you want to do your dining room a color that looks really pretty with it. So we are going to start with mega grayish. Like that, they really work well together. That actually would make for a nice feature wall or a cabinet color. The undertones jibe. A new gray, this is a softer approach. So more, a little bit more of a tone on tone look to a degree, quite pretty. You'll find a lot of these colors are similar to what suit Sherwin-Williams Agreeable Gray because Modern Gray and Agreeable Gray are doing similar things. So that might be a color that interests you as well. And again, a lot of these colors are repeats because they like a lot of the same stuff. Dorian Gray, I love that. You can see it's got a bit more depth to it. It's a soft, warm gray. Really nice. Mindful Gray, this one sits above Dorian Gray in the fan deck. That looks fantastic. Now, a lot of people love Repose Gray, which sits above Mindful Gray, so it's the lighter version. Not so hot with Modern Gray. You gotta go down to the depth of Mindful Gray. Now, as it relates to grays in particular, Modern Gray is a bit fussy, just like Agreeable Gray. It doesn't really like grays that are the same depth or lighter than it, or, and, and cooler. It wants grays that have a little bit more depth, and aren't too fresh and icy cold. And I'll show you why. Gray screen. Well, it's not a super hot mess. It's also not a perfect combo. This has more dirt in it. It's a little bit more organic, softer looking, whereas this is more fresh and clean. They're not totally fighting each other. They're just not happy. Whereas if we shift to a more muted gray, so much better. It's got that nice depth to it, a nice stormy look. Super passive blue-green undertone, that's silver plate. I don't know if I said that last time. What color was that? That was gray screen. Yeah, that was gray screen that I didn't love. And silver plate, oh, so much better. I think mean, that's beautiful. Now moving along, we can also do gray mixed with a good shot of color to the point where the color actually takes over a bit with silver strand. That is so pretty. Silver Strand's got a beautiful blue-green to it. There's one underneath this called Argos. I don't have the um, big chip of it yet. It's in the mail. Um, so gorgeous with modern gray. So if you have, say you've got your hallway this color and you have a powder room, Argos would be like amazing. When I'm doing a palette where I've got multiple colors, I do like to get something lighter and maybe even a bit warmer in there. Hair and Plume, that is so lovely. Love it, Hair and Plume's got a slightly taupe undertone in there. Again, I have reviews on all these, so you can check them out, you don't have to wonder. Aesthetic White, gorgeous. That's an off-white beige with a little bit of gray in it, so it's not like boring builder beige by any stretch. Amazing 
gray, I wonder. Yeah, that works. Amazing gray is a grayish with a green undertone. So it's really well with modern gray. It's actually quite pretty. Really complementing each other. Big chill. That's awesome. So if you wanted to get gray in there, this is about as light and cool as you can go. Again, we looked at silver plate earlier. This is lighter. That looks really nice. I love that, but I would not go lighter than Big Chill. And then we're back where we started. So now we're going to look at some colors for cabinets, feature walls, islands, that kind of thing. Now, important note is that when you're painting cabinets or a front door, you're gonna be doing it in satin finish probably. So satin finish can really lift up a color, make it look lighter and also bring its undertones up a bit. So while some of these look quite dark, you might be surprised at how they look on your cabinet. So you have to sample in the right finish. Whereas if you're doing a feature wall, I highly recommend matte finish. On walls, darker colors can look a little garish and flashy with sheen and darker colors already have more tint and colorant in them, which already gives them a little bit of extra sheen. They don't need help. So let's start with Gauntlet Grey. Gauntlet Grey is so fantastic for an island. Some people find it a bit much for all the kitchen cabinets, but for an island, like if you did, um, there's pure white. If you did pure white cabinets, modern grey wall, Gauntlet Grey island, or Gauntlet Grey feature wall, which would be quite high contrast, but pretty, really nice combo. Urbane Bronze. Now I've got this here too to show you. So a color like Urbane Bronze, which is amazing. It's the most badass color ever. It's a dark grayish with a green undertone. I have it on my kitchen island as well as my stair railings. If you go to my Instagram or my blog and find our house, you will see it and I love it. But a color like Urbane Bronze can look really dark, a little bit overwhelming until you compare it. So when you're choosing dark colors, you need a frame of reference to base it off of. So get your brands black as black. Cause look what happens. It's not nearly so scary or as intense as we thought. And you can see that beautiful color. So moving along, modern gray doesn't like to be partnered with colors that have too much chroma in them, too much intensity to them. It likes colors with a bit of gray in them. So. If we look at navel here, navel's a pretty powerful navy blue. Modern gray is not happy with it. They're just fighting each other. Whereas if we shift over to cyberspace, which has some gray mixed in, 10 times better. And again, if we get our black, cyberspace looks pretty killer, right? And you go, oh, there's the navy blue. So much better, not as scary. Cyberspace is one of my favorite island colors. It looks beautiful, especially with some of the white quartz countertops that are out there. Moving along, Cityscape. Uh, might be going just a flash cool, but I don't mind it. It's a slightly cooler gray with a bit of a green in it. It's not bad with modern gray. Sorry, yeah, that was Cityscape. Classic French gray, a little bit softer. Let's look at the difference here. So you can see a little bit cooler, a little bit more green, that's cityscape. Classic French gray, a little bit more muted. We still have the green in there, but it's a little bit softer, a little bit more organic looking, and I like it better with modern gray. Cityscape's not bad. I just like classic French gray more. I'm playing favorites. Dovetail should be wicked. So dovetail is really popular if you want to do all of your cabinets. This is like a lighter version of gauntlet gray. So if you found gauntlet that bit heavy, dovetail is a great fix to that. Super gorgeous feature wall. Mad love. Pavestone. That's an interesting combination. Maybe I wouldn't do it as a feature wall, but a side-by-side -side room. Pavestone's actually a grayish with green in it. And it's really interesting with a slightly more taupe look of modern gray. I like it. Pewter cast, really nice. Pewter cast is kind of a, it's called a stormy, I wouldn't say it's a warm gray, but it's definitely not cold, especially if we do a comparison here. Let's, uh, there we go. So that's classic French gray, which we looked at with a little bit of green in it. You can see how much softer pewter cast looks, but it is not as warm as a color we haven't got to yet. So let's hold tight. 
Grizzle Gray. I love Grizzle Gray. That's a darker green gray, a little bit stronger green in there. Again, let's get the black for a frame of reference. Not so scary, super pretty. Love that. Dovetail. Oh, that's the one I wanted to compare to pewter cast to show you that shift. So we've got dovetail on the bottom, pewter cast on the top. So I was saying how pewter cast is, it's not that it's a warm gray, it's just got a more softness compared to say, Classic French gray. Dovetail is a warm gray. Love it. So there you go. That's Sharon Williams Modern Gray. Again, I have reviews on my blog. I have an awesome Instagram feed. And thank you for subscribing to my YouTube channel.